This is 517, and we're to calculate the gain, the gain, V naught over VI, the gain, for three different scenarios. So the first one is we have the switch in this position, so the current comes up and goes here. In the second uh, part of this problem, we have this switch here is not here, it's connected here. And then in the third part of the problem, part C, it is connected here. So in this problem, what we're doing is changing, changing the feedback resistor. So we're changing RF. So we're gonna call these resistors here, these are gonna be RF. And we're gonna solve this in terms of RF here. Okay, we have ground attached here, so this is zero volts. And likewise, we know that this is zero volts, this point here. And all of the current, all of the current goes up around here, all right? So the current here and here, those are zero amps, zero amps, zero amps. So we have this current I. This is I and then this is I, and this is I. Okay, so I, I, I. So let's do um, our current, our current I is equal to Vn, this input voltage, minus zero volts divided by this five kilo ohm resistor. We also know that I is equal to zero volts, zero volts minus V naught, V naught divided by the feedback resistor, RF. So we're gonna set these two equal. We have VI divided by five kilo ohms. This is equal to this. Zero minus V, well, we could just write that negative V naught divided by RF. So what we're trying to find is the gain, the gain, and rearranging this equation, we have V naught is equal, or V naught over V I um, is equal to, let's rewrite that, V over V I is equal to negative R F divided by five kilo ohms. So, for part A, we have 12 kilo ohms, B, 80, and two mega ohms for part C. So, A, 12 kilo ohms, B is 80 kilo ohms, and then C is two mega ohms. So using this equation, we have V naught over V I is equal for part A, that's negative 12 over five. For part B, that is 80 divided by five, which is 16, negative 16. So we better put a negative there. And for part C, we have, what is that? That is negative two times 10 to the sixth divided by five times 10 to the third. And that is going to equal negative 400. 
So these are our solutions for part A, B, and C. And that is problem 517.